we now look at a second example of a reverse percentage problem, in which we're told that the price of a pair of jeans was reduced by 15%, and they now cost $76.50. We're then asked how much did they used to cost. Once more, this is a typical reverse percentage problem. Indeed, we're given the value of something following a percentage increase or decrease, and we're asked to find its initial value. That is, we're told that this pair of jeans now costs $76.50, and that this follows a percentage decrease. And what we have to find is how much they used to cost before the percentage decrease. Well, for that, we follow the same three steps as in our previous example. Those were, Step 1, find the percentage multiplier for the percentage increase or decrease. Well, in this case, we're dealing with a percentage decrease, so we need to find the multiplier which allows us to decrease by 15%. And that would be 1 minus 15%. That equals to 1 minus 0 0.15. Finally, that's equal to 0 0.85. And that's our first step done. We move on to step 2. And in step two, we need to write the percentage increase or decrease equation. Again, in this case, we're dealing with a percentage decrease, so we need to write the percentage decrease equation. Well, if we go ahead and call the initial price of the pair of jeans capital P, then we know that if we decrease P by 15%, it has to equal to 76.50. In other words, if we multiply P by 0 0.85, that's the multiplier we just found in step one, then it has to equal to 76.50, or 76.5. And that's our step two done. We now have an equation linking the price that we're after to the price following the percentage decrease. Finally, step three, all we have to do is solve this equation for P. Well, we can see that P is being multiplied by 0 0.85, so to get rid of that 0 0.85, we need to divide the left-hand side by 0 0.85. But just as for any equation, whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other. So we need to divide 76.5 by 0 0.85 as well. Now, on the left-hand side of the equation, we have P times 0 0.85 divided by 0 0.85, which just leaves us with P, and that's equal to 76.5 divided by 0 0.85. And you can go ahead and check with your calculators, but that leads us to P is equal to 90. And that's the answer. And to state our final answer, we can go ahead and say that these jeans used to cost $90. And there we have it. We now know how to solve reverse percentage problems. And that's it for this tutorial.